As a kid, I remember the epic struggle of a tug of war. Each recess, students would line up, hoping the biggest, strongest players ended up on their team. It's been a while since my last tug of war out on the playground, but each of us is engaged in a real life tug of war, and many people don't even realize it. Just as humans need the proper nutrition to grow up and become strong, bacteria also require certain nutrients in order to grow and replicate. For an invading pathogen, all of the nutrients they need must come from the host. Iron is an essential nutrient for bacterial survival, and just like tug of war, the bacteria have strategies to get iron from us, and our bodies have strategies to fight back. My research is focused on one particular tug of war battle between a specific bacteria called Staph aureus and a specific tissue site, which is the mammary gland. Staph aureus is one of the leading causes of infection in the mammary gland known as mastitis. Mastitis is extremely painful disease and it leads to swelling and hardening of the breast tissue. It affects nursing mothers worldwide and also causes huge economic losses within the dairy industry. My thesis is focused on determining how Staph aureus gets its iron out of milk and mammary tissue. Because if we can understand how this process occurs, then we can figure out a way to prevent it and kill the bacteria. In my research, I've been testing the function of specific genes I hypothesized would be important for iron acquisition. The best way to test these genes is to knock them out or remove the gene from the bacteria. A bacteria with a missing gene is called a mutant. I've grown these different mutants in both human and bovine milk and in low iron environments to see if the missing gene prevents the mutant from growing properly. I've identified several important mutants that significantly inhibit the growth of Staph aureus. Interestingly, these growth defects were found in human milk, but not in cow milk. My additional data also supports this idea that Staph aureus requires different genes to grow in human milk than it does to grow in cow milk. This is important because most research on mastitis is conducted with cows or other animals. But my research shows that the things we understand about bovine mastitis may not always apply to humans and vice versa. The more we understand and study these differences, the more strength we can give to our side of the tug of war, helping pull back against staph aureus iron acquisition. Thank you.